Starting? All right. Oh, okay. Cool. Welcome to Couch of Thrones. My name's Josh. This is my co-host, Costas. Hello! <laughs> and Aaron. A guest for about 10 minutes Our today. Guest, yes. yes. All right. Our temporary guest. Temporary guest. Temporary friend. I'm, I'm a side character who gets killed off early. Yeah. You know, so. Sorry. We'll my, my, I'm, I'm of low birth. What can I say? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to... Mm -hmm. Do you want to wear the hat? Yeah, you want to wear that? Yeah. Phew. Now I can feel more like Melisandre. Yes. <laughs> the night is long and full of terrors. Oh, no. They haven't said that in a while. I know. No, they haven't. It's kind of I miss it. Yeah. Because that used to be like a thing that they would say like every couple episodes. They were like, just got tired of it, I guess. Yeah. Just and like, mm -hmm. ah, you guys know already. Just, you know, I burn mm -hmm. things. Things are ter you know, terrible. Yeah, I haven't seen Winter is Coming in a while either. Yeah, another mm. slogan that just... Yeah. Mm. Well, so a lot kind of happened today. Uh, well, today it's uh, now Tuesday. <laughs> so you guys probably heard a little bit of buzz online, but we're going to go through it anyway because we got stuff to say too. <laughs> so uh, episode was Spoils of War. And uh, let's see, you guys want to talk about, I hear we want to talk about dragons first. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. I don't want to jump the gun, but we can That's go. That's fair enough. Dragons. It, it was really awesome having they, those dragons. Yes. There were dragons and burning things. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I liked the part with the dragons. There were actually a bunch of dragons. Yeah, there was a lot of wrath going yeah. on yeah. At, at the end. I mean, you, you can't not talk about the giant flame in the room, which is... <laughs> I, I know, we like Drogon to go chronologically. And just coming get the, in. Yeah. I know, I get the chron chronologically, mm. but... Just shooting all the fire <laughs> everywhere. That was awesome. Was, yeah. We're definitely going to come back to this and talk more about yes. fire. Absolutely, but oh, I mean, man. who are we kidding? We all know what we all remember from the episode. Oh my yeah. god. So, so can I do a couch poll? Yes. And see who else was doing something along the lines of this? <laughs> yeah, I was freaking out too. I was I like, was like I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified Brown was going to die. I, I have a man crush on Barn. Yeah, I know. We all, we all do love him. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. He didn't, his, his sweet sag -alute. <laughs> you know, he's like he, he was ne such a he's never decision. gonna get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> never gonna get his payment. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't think I'd care that much about a bunch of gold if a Dothraki warrior was going after me. Kind of makes everything else but seem he, pretty he, insignificant. He's one of the few people who is clearly in it for the money and only oh, yeah. the money. I know. He seems like a decent, okay guy. Then again, mm -hmm. he's like killed a bunch of people who are yeah. probably innocent for money. Mm -hmm. He's a decent mercenary. Yeah, he's a yeah. he's an okay dude. As far as okay, as far as hired killers go, he's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, he's fun. He's real. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah, much Pretty... nicer than the hound. God, the mountain. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, man, the mountain. What? So he's like a giant zombie now. Giant zombie. Giant zombie. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's been he's like that for like a couple seasons, hasn't he? Yes. Yeah, I think it's been <laughs> yeah, ever since uh, Oberyn sliced him up. I, I love how they keep dressing him up in like scarier and scarier outfits. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna totally cover the dragon scene, okay? Mm. But we're gonna come back to it after we go through a lot that happened this episode because okay. I'm gonna just jump to the the big scenes. Okay. So we started off back in uh, the en route to King's Landing with uh, Bronn and Jaime, mm -hmm. leading the Tyrell and uh, Lannister. I'm sorry, the uh, the Tyrell Gold and Lannister army uh, back to King's Landing, and. I don't think much happened during that. They were just like joking about Dickon and Rickon. And, and talking about fancy lad school and how people poop themselves when they die. Yes, the pooping. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, I forgot <laughs> the pooping. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then like how he's never going to get his castle. Well, he will totally get a castle. Just yeah, I feel bad for Yeah. Now it's and expensive to keep him up. Yep. Jamie, I mean, Jamie had a pretty good point though. Like with uh, Daenerys coming in, burning like with dragons, I don't think this castle is going to be much use yeah. at this point. Mm. Yeah. I'm I'm wondering like what, well let's see. We at least see later on like what Tyrion's gonna do when he meets Bronn again, which I think is a reunion coming up next episode. Mm. But um, yeah, it's gonna be. I much. think they're cool. Dragons. No, Tyrion and Bronn. I think they both get each other. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no hard feelings. But they're on separate sides now. The land is yeah, the Yeah, they're on separate sides, but. He's a Honestly, Tyrion has a better relationship with Bronn than he does with Jaime, and he still cared about Jaime during that fight scene. Yeah. So, you think they're going to separate ways? You think Bronn's going to keep working for the Lannisters? He's got to either he's mm. got to either abandon the fight or switch sides. Why? Because he's going to be captured by Tyrion. Why is he going to get captured by Tyrion? 
Oh, wait, wait. We'll, we'll oh, go back. Wait, wait, hold on. We hold will on. go back. I'm Dothraki jumping way ahead. Point. I forgot about that for a second. Yeah. All right. It's, this is hard to talk about because it's so... We're, we already... We're all jumping right. around. Let's, let's get to it after. Okay. Okay. But Cer next after this, we had Cersei having an investor meeting with the mm -hmm. bank of... Uh, the Iron Bank. The Iron Bank. So, uh, again, it looks like they're still going to play a part. They said they're going to offer their support. After they get the gold, which mm -hmm. is on the way right now. They were real excited when oh, she they... was like, I got you your payments right now. And they're like, I want you to pay us slowly. <laughs> yeah. So we can have those sweet ducats. <laughs> the mm -hmm. little interest payments, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just <laughs> So I'm not sure like I I didn't think banks would like to be paid in full when it's not when it's not the you know. Yeah, the sometimes you get pe penalized for that. Yeah. Which is kinda mm. kinda mm. lame. It's interesting. <laughs> I almost made a joke that we should do a comparison between the banking policies of the Iron Bank and the current, and I realized that would, of all things... <laughs> it would be brutal. Let's, Funding yeah. for mercenaries to overthrow governments. And, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, are we talking about the Iron Bank or real life? Yeah, well, that's what I was saying, <laughs> comparing the two. Pretty much both on. <laughs> all right. I, I'm I'm so distracted by dragons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Littlefinger gifts a little knife to Bran. Oh, that part's so cool. Yeah, it's chaos a... is a ladder. Oh, he keeps saying that. <laughs> yep. No, but yeah, the all-knowing Bran. I that, mean, it's it's kind that's... of a bummer that he's such a little like nihilist jackass can i say that but I think you say jackass, yeah, yeah he's so because it's like it'd be almost it would be nice if he cared and he invested a little bit more in this but you know he, he seems to love only himself and sansa Maybe i don't sansa. even think he Wait, seems so little did finger, you not yeah. see what he oh, oh little brand. finger i'm, I'm talking sorry, about I'm, brand yeah, yeah brand brand, oh. brand is dr manhattan I, I called him yeah. like a couple yeah. weeks ago. I was like, yeah, he's going to get detached from humanity. Definitely, yeah. 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 So he the fact that Littlefinger him. gave him the knife and that Bran almost immediately gave it to Arya. Yes. Yeah, but... The, uh, w for greater purpose. Yes. <laughs> Still, that, that put him in... I think that put him in huge danger when he actually... Because Littlefinger knew, he knew what they were talking about, I think. Mm -hmm. He had this yeah. glimpse in his eye. Either he just recognized the term and... I think he knows that Bran can see what he is. Do you think that um, Bran, Bran, even though Dude, he's... Bran can see the future. Yeah, he has he, like but no... if Littlefinger, see, if Littlefinger knows that, yeah. that makes him one of the only people who, who can see through his lies, so to speak. Yeah. So, which makes him super dangerous to Littlefinger. Yeah. I, I would not... I, he just kind of does a gesture, but I can see him maybe uh, putting him in his sights after that. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I don't think like... You don't think he got it after that? Do no, you think I, that, I, I think, um... I think he's, he's unstoppable. If he can see the future. I, I yeah. just wonder if he actually cares enough because, yeah, he's tagged out of really seeming to care about anyone. Yeah. But I do wonder because he actually is focused on being the Three-Eyed Raven if he has any investment in keeping himself alive. Because mm. if he cares about the greater good, then you need the Three-Eyed Raven. Yeah. So doesn't it make sense for him to be like, oh, I'm going to use my future abilities to figure out what Littlefinger has planned to keep my butt alive. Yeah. Thank you, world, because I'm the Three-Eyed Raven. Mm. Well, oh man! They, they see that it's weird when they add these like really huge. Um, I wouldn't say mechanics, but like these yeah. huge magical abilities that could change everything. You're not sure how the scope is. We're not sure if he can see it all at once. If it's just these glimpses, like he was in it during training. If he can yeah. fully understand. He said it, it was pieces. It yeah. sounds like he's still learning and yeah. trying to figure it out. Yeah. So it's definitely like dished out in a certain way that he's yeah. kind of kind of have to sort through in his head. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I just don't know why he's like he's so detached at this point. He just he's I guess he's lived so many different moments now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which, yeah. It's mm. what's what's very interesting to me is like I've been reading Dune and it like basically the way that that the character of, of Paul Atreides mirrors almost exactly what Bronn's <laughs> doing. So like mm. he, basically he'll be unstoppable and like it's ridiculous. Mm. <laughs> like he, he can see the future. Every act that he does yeah. is moving towards his goal. Hmm. So, like handing the knife over there, letting Littlefinger know, he's setting up the pieces. might even be yeah. like, like You're towards right. his favor. You're mm -hmm. right. Maybe he's trying to get him to to actually reveal himself and get yeah. him something. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like if he can actually see and do what he says he can, mm -hmm. every single action that he takes will probably be incredibly <laughs> calculated. Mm. All right, and that's yeah. probably why he's like detached. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So then, what happened? So then we had uh, Arya return home. 
Yes. Dun, 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 dun. So she, we've been debating this the past couple uh, episodes if she was heading to King's Landing after all. Yeah, it turns out she was. And she met some of the stupidest guards I've seen. <laughs> she was he heading to Winterfell after Winterfell, all. Winterfell, yeah. That's, what is it? You said King's Landing. But she might, know. Be, she might still be oh. hidden there. No, we, we, were, we weren't sure she was going to King's Landing or Winterfell. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now we definitely know that she went, mm -hmm. she went to Winterfell. But now that she's been given the dagger, maybe she's going to... Valerian Steel Dagger, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. she's going to be going back down to King's Landing to murder the crap out of Cersei. Or mm. she's going to kill everybody. Because, like... So, one of the things that really got me is the way that she reacted with her siblings. I was actually a little afraid for Sansa. Like, when Arya and her were alone in the pit, it, it, mm -hmm. down in there, going like, oh, there's our dad, and mm -hmm. they don't, didn't get her face, his face right. I was like, maybe Arya's going to kill Sansa, because she's like in murder pile at this point. Yeah. What? I don't know. I don't know. What? I didn't have to do that. No. Yeah. It freaked me out. <laughs> no. I could not it disagree was, more. I was. I saw it as her coming back to humanity, her coming yeah. back to her family, and yeah. redeeming like this dark place she's been in for so long. No, I mean, I, I mean, I know she's a really good killer, but I still think there's a lot of humanity to her, and like, I, I still like her. Maybe she's gonna kill Littlefinger. I mean, hey, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. But he's not on the list, and Littlefinger. He, he should be though. He's 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 got some more damage to do before yeah. we see him leave. Heck, I even think he's so dastardly. There's a chance he even will be the one to win the throne at the end. So you never know. <laughs> he's snidely whiplash. He's such a little. Oh. All right. He was God. Twiddle his mustache. Mm -hmm. Moving along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had <laughs> Jon Snow and Danny go spelunking. And, and meaningfully glance at each other. Oh yeah, in the fire. He held yeah. her hand. I'm not <laughs> sure. Lightly touched her back to guide yeah. her. <laughs> Let me show you the way to the White Walkers. <laughs> and like, did he like, draw those paintings? You know, oh, I was thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's like, oh, hide the hide the paint before she gets here. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, that was. They're pretty. Yeah, they get the eyes pretty well too. Yeah. Like for for being it's thousands funny, of like, years the old. The drawings of the White Walkers. I was still like, oh, <laughs> too real and yeah. terrifying. These things are terrifying. I maintain. I don't know what scares me more: White Walkers or Reavers. I will say, like they, those two, are the most terrifying creations. <laughs> yeah. In uh, in fictional history. Reavers. You know, uh, let's see, you guys will play any clips from this? I'm thinking, yeah, like, what do you want? Yeah, play a clip. Play from the, uh, a clip. I actually want to, I'm sure it's been analyzed on the internet, mm. but they had the uh, the scene with the White Walkers. That's mm -hmm. not the right thing. Uh, that is that is a Couch of Thrones. That is the Couch of Thrones. This is it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, in the beginning. In the in the beginning or later? <sighs> no, later on. Okay, okay. Oh. So we can see if we can check out the wall real quick. Okay. I'm sure it's been like, here we go. Good timing. That's incredible. Where Wait, was is the, the scene wall with the White the Walkers? Uh, let me see. This is a little harder on this tiny mouse. Uh, I could probably play it, but oh, damn it. All right, let's wait. There it was. Ah! Yes, yeah. I see it. I don't like them. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we're Facebook streaming? Oh. Hi, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. We thought we were doing post production. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, audience. Okay. What's up, Facebook? Live TV. We were surprised by live TV. Are they saying anything fun, or are they just like we? We thought we dopes. could edit all our crap out. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's only gonna be up for like ten minutes anyway. Okay. You guys are already halfway, almost two thirds of the way through the show. Ooh. So if you'd like to have any other guests, join you. I think we should have another Ooh. guest join us. Absolutely. Oh wait, we're supposed to do this, right? Oh, is that oh, why yeah. we do this? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's time for another guest to join. Wait, what is that noise? Stop. Listen. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. All At right. The stove, the microphone. Thank you. Oath Thank keeper. You so much. Thanks Thank for coming by, Eric. Thank you so much. <laughs> and the hat. I won't burn you Thank since you, you, bend, oh. since you, you bent friend. your knee. You bent your knee. I will bend the She's knee. She's bending the knee. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> yes. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you so much Thanks, for your service. All right. Now joining us is Kathy B. Hi. Hi, 
everyone. So yeah, I just thought um, I just thought we'd put it up on uh, Facebook because we talked about it. I totally forgot about that. So I just took. <laughs> Sorry, a, Facebook. I made an executive <laughs> decision there, and um, we'll still have a much better version of this in post. So yeah. there's no disincentive. Um, but I did. But you say, get all the swears. I will check though because some people may <laughs> say a few things. Ooh. You know that's that's I'm why I, that's why I brought the glasses. The internet so anyway, the how far yet. did you guys get? I, I wasn't totally through. sure. Oh my god, we I were... missed all the best parts. No, I, no, no, so much no. Can, you, can you move that screen just for a moment so I can see something? Um, when, when was the moment that it looked like Westworld? Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh man, it was like, oh, we're shooting this scene in uh, Utah in Canyonlands or Zion or something. You know, the oh. big, like, beautiful, it looked yeah, like Westworld. It was the last scene with the dragons. I think. No, it was the beginning. It was the it was the beginning. Maybe it of was the, the beginning. I yeah, cannot. it was before the dragons came. It was on the road to King's Landing. I think. It was uh, on the road to yeah. It was on the road to King's Landing. The wrong thing again. Yep. Um, the road to King King's Landing, and I just was like, oh my gosh, there. That right there. Yeah, yeah. Basically, the the Wild West scene. Yeah. Um, I don't need to see it right now, but um, but yeah, yeah definitely it was. It seemed like there were some big, like, like. Buttes and plateaus, Ooh. and I was like, definitely some buttes. Yeah. Wow, like they're using some of Westworld. It made me kind of have a Westworld moment. <laughs> That's Sorry. awesome. That's all I wanted to say. All right, so we, we have... talked about the cat's paw. The cat's paw. The cat's paw. The, the little knife. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, are, what, are, what were you guys doing without me? I was I mean, like really? yelling about Valerian oh. steel and like murdering all the people. Cat's paw. It's I called the cat's paw. Oh, yeah. Oh man! Yeah, we, we talked to... about a little creepy little finger. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, excellent. Okay, yeah. I'm all caught up. We were at. Let's see, Daenerys gets some bad news. This is right after this, the uh, cave scene, which I'm sure there's less of speculation about the other symbols on the wall, but I don't know any of it. So. That was a cool scene, yeah, wasn't it? Was, it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I, we have just been transcended into a totally different world right now. This is like not even Westeros. Yeah, this is. It's it was kind of crazy, cool. right? Yeah. There's lots of neat stuff going on. Um, I think it's going to go far away to convincing Danny to actually, you know, support John at this point. She's I mean, like, oh, Kate you're onto something. Convincing. Oh, yeah. Someone no, yeah. Me Kate and she was I like, think. yeah, this is totally dope. I like your paintings. We should fight the White Walkers. Yeah. Yeah. I think she she's said convinced. That. And then she came out of the cave and then she's like, my army got blowed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys think for a minute that she wasn't going to fly the dragons? Yes. The dragon, I guess. Well, I thought I mean, for a moment, like, mm, I don't well, know, she's going to, like, not go. Yeah, she she had a big, uh, I, I mean, I think Tyrion and they're probably right, kind of. She she took a good compromise. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's quite all right. <laughs> um, so we had, uh, she made a good compromise by not going for King's Landing and burning the city down. So yeah. I think she did an okay job with uh, her decision. Well, she did incredibly. So, so like, she destroyed their supplies, which is the well, best way. We're gonna, we're still not the dragon part. I, know, I yeah. want to talk we about it. We just want to so talk about the dragon. All right, so <laughs> she gets the news. Then we got to uh, Arya and Bri uh, Brianna Tarth. Also another favorite Awesome for me. scene, yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Just Doing crazy. the little water dance. It was amazing. Oh, she's so good. <laughs> she's so good with the rapier. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely learned pretty well. It was so good. Yeah. I just, it's like two characters that I love and have loved since the books. Yeah. And I just want to say, it's like. They hung out. They had a moment. Yeah. It yeah. was awesome. Respect, mad respect but for both of them. One thing I did notice was one thing that uh, Ned had mentioned to uh, Jamie was not to fight in front of your opponents so they don't know what you do. And if you notice, Littlefinger was watching the whole thing. Kind of calculating and judging it, mm. and I think he now because he has the area as a threat as well. Is he a fighter? Well, so right? is San Sansa, and so I mean, basically, is this going to put Sansa and Littlefinger like together now to like fight against Arya and Brienne? I mean, I that seems so. I weird. Think, I think San I don't think Sansa can ever go against. Seems the weird. I hope not. But okay, uh, you people, post something out there. But Facebook I think land. I definitely think um, Littlefinger is now seeing his enemies growing around him, and he's mm -hmm. getting pretty nervous. Not with Bran, and now with with Arya. Um, both as people who could potentially kill him and, and know they're his all secrets. standing oh, around yeah. him too. Yeah, so he's he's allied himself, and now he's also fighting zombies when he wants to be destroying the realm. Did you so talk now, about Bran, not Bran? Bran, not Bran. Bran, yeah. not Bran. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. 
like being able to see the future. He's a little, he's kind of a little bit. He's punk, kind of lost himself. Punk right now. Lately. I mean, yeah, no, I don't think he is the same. It's just like Arya, he's not the same. Neither Arya's, is Arya's coming back though. Bran is like lost. I mean, there's a part of Arya that's that's she's, definitely forever changed. Yeah. Mm. I mean, she was a little yeah. girl and now she's a woman and. Yeah, but she she's coming killed back to a lot of people. She's not, she's not, she's not going back to you. She's not yeah. going the path of, of this murderous revenge rage. She's actually yeah. on the path of you know, doing some good. I thought I thought there was a clear sign in you know that a, a like she's not the wave, which we really kind of figured out last last episode, but also the the moment between she and Bran with the cat's paw, I thought was just like really awesome because mm -hmm. it yeah. was like he's like I see you, I know what you've done, <laughs> like I know what you've done. And here's this Valerian awesome deal anyway. that yeah. you're gonna like use to like like he knows she's good. That's what I felt yeah, like, yeah, right? Yeah. Or he needs her as a pawn in his was whole it, big chessboard. Even the beginning, he was uh, she was the one who kind of humiliated him with the arrow thing. So now he's like he's in a way it's kind of sad to see that he's changed so much that he doesn't even like right. recognize any of that. But he's like like that childhood rivalry they had. But now he's just like you know you're better. You've gotten the fighting thing down. And now a tear it is for you instead. Yeah. So maybe it was for her all along. Maybe it was, yeah. Because it was from it was their that. moms. Yeah. Their mom oh, had no, it. No, it was Tyrion's. No, Cat, Cat, uh, Peter Baelish said to Caitlin, Catelyn, that he had got it from Tyrion in a fight. It was meant to kill them. No, no. Yeah. Um, no, he was... had won it. Tyrion, Tyrion had uh, Peter had won it from Tyrion, right? No, no. Peter took it from Tyrion at the uh, in a bet. at the reach. In a bet. No. Oh, well, who? I'm thinking of a different moment before then, though, when Tyrion lost in a bet to somebody. Who did he lose it to? Oh, he might have lost in a bet to, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that's what happened. I thought there were two so of them. Anyway, yeah. It came from Catelyn yeah. originally. Yeah. And okay. then it went to, and then it went to Tyrion, and then it went to Peter, and now Peter yeah. gave it to, yeah, yeah. Bran, and now Bran, who's given it. That's a very long, oh, complicated no. to Arya. Oh, no. Yeah. Hold on, that was Catelyn's dagger, so that means, oh uh, no, Littlefinger's gonna be like, hey Arya, I like your mom. Oh God. <laughs> God. Yeah, he's, he's just going around <laughs> telling creeper. everyone he likes. He he's like, a creep. Uh, yeah. Littlefinger, get off my TV. He's right. like, I just wanna be a Stark. Can I just be a Stark, please? All right, so next. <laughs> I loved your mom, did Come you on, know let, that? Okay, really quick here, scene, Josh. the unlay. <laughs> I, I want to get gross. to this dragon. Okay. Okay. Right. Because yeah, oh. we're running out of time here. All right. Theon lands at Dragonstone, oh, only yeah. to find everyone gone. Well, well no. It's John, a John Snow was there, and he's like, "I'm gonna murder you, but you yeah. saved someone, and I forgot who and what uh, that was about." Uh, everyone gone. Ah, you can hear it. It's really weird. <laughs> oh man. What is it? It's you can hear yourself on Facebook while you're talking on TV. It's really creepy. Okay. That was pretty anyway, cool. sorry. Sorry Let's about that. Start a huge feedback oh. loop. Yeah. Just, <laughs> destroy the internet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. So he shows up and he's like, I want you guys to help me get my sister back. And everyone else is like, there are zombies and dragons. Yeah, we, we got other issues here. everything's blowing up. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, totally. You're going to be okay. Just just let everyone else do stuff. <laughs> I, yeah, not much more to say about that. Yeah, not much more to say. <laughs> but that brings us... To Fucking dragons! Excuse fucking me. Dragons. Oh, you F can't dragons. say that. We can't say that. Well, on Facebook, we're gonna leave it out. Fucking dragons. Post. Yeah, but on Facebook, you can say it. <laughs> Hello, Facebook. This is why you tuned in. Yes. All right. Um, so, instead of going, we had this debate before. We can actually talk about the entire episode now, in related to the dragons, because okay. it all kind of looped in. But <laughs> we had, we weren't sure where Danny was gonna do it. Dun, dun, dun. She was dun, like, dun, dun. she was pissed. That's what I wanted to hear. She was cut. She had her two armies. Right. She's done with with Tyrion's strategy. I'm sorry. Of, can I just say that really quick? Like, it. We needed Zeppelin. We needed like Ozzy Zeppelin. or Zeppelin. Like, dun, 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 right? Like when the dragons came. When the dragon came. I mean, it yeah. was like a heavy metal yeah. freaking rock opera moment. It was right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. I just, just wanted see to Danny say that. riding in the dragon and have like. Never any story playing or something. Da -da -da. <laughs> just like some. Mm. Yeah, that was mine. Amazing. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be a YouTube Time cut of that. Space. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. So, <laughs> Danny decides to attack the Lannisters who took, who killed uh, Oleana. And she does it to great effect. Uh, we have the, we see. Oh, they so, got wrecked. Yeah, she's sick and tired of waiting. So she goes with the Dothraki across the, uh, across the sea, lands. Uh, on this coast near King's Landing, yep, <laughs> just bum rushes them, and 
It was amazing. It was totally That was awesome. Amazing. That was really amazing, yeah. Uh, seeing the Thraki screaming nowhere. over there, seeing all the, you know, everyone's like scared. Horse like horse archers. Like, first and, like, there's dudes swinging kopeshes yeah. around. They're like, awesome. what the hell's going on? <laughs> like, suddenly, this is the first time we've seen the Thraki on, on uh, Westeros. So right. they, they have this, like... They made they, it across the Poison Sea. They fight a mm. totally different style than anyone in mm. Westeros, so they don't know what the hell's happening. Yep. And then you see the dragon come up over it. Like, they, yeah. they charged a, like... Phalanx with horses. But what a bunch great, of maniacs! Yeah, but it's pretty crazy. That, they fight like that. They fight in this great like. They, <laughs> they don't like it's. They're like the Huns. They'll fight in this very range weapon style where they're throwing stuff. Mm. They're using archery. They're defeating armored armies, like ar really cohesive armies, by just this battle of attrition where they. It can was just, awesome. It was awesome. It yeah. was awesome. That was amazing. Yeah. So <laughs> rock opera. I'm telling you. Yeah. So we had the dragon come in, burn the entire caravan. <sighs> which, <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> was probably just food. Yeah. Whatever. Was this food? Oh, you know, you're asking the question, is the gold gone or not? Yes. That's the real question the world wants to know. What does the internet say? What do you guys think? Gold gone, I, not I gone? I thought the gold was gone. I thought the gold was gone. I think I it's gone. I initially thought the gold was gone. But, Melty. But like, really, I, actually, gone I, and then I thought, like, I had to go back, and I checked, and... Um, What's uh, Sam's father? Yeah, Charlie uh, Gay was Charlie. like, yo, dog, we Mr. gotta Charlie. get our stuff in or else like, we got all the... of our supplies are toast yeah. and then like their supplies are toast, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and right before that, he yeah. says... So they're, they're in deep trouble because yeah. they can't eat gold. No, well, they well they're right at King's Landing. But, yeah, you're right. They can't eat, they can't eat food. <laughs> what, about, what are the people going to eat? The people aren't going to eat. That's going to be very bad for Danny. I think this, yeah. this attempted coup by her is going to end up being something that's going to bite her very hard because now the, the populace of King's Landing is going to be against her. The Dothraki have been landed, and now everyone's be scared, be very afraid of them. Who so. are who are the people for King's Landing really for? I mean, as we saw last they're, week, they're they don't really everybody. care. They're they not for throw anybody. rocks at everyone. They're, they're not and... for anybody, though. No, Varys, as apparently Varys not. Said, well, they're they're for they're for food. They're for living. yeah. They just want bread. It's always about mm -hmm. bread with them. Oh, it's like the Roman Empire, bread and circus. Ho oh, ho! Oh. <laughs> but Varys kind of understands that. <laughs> That's why Varys kind of switches Varys, camps. So yeah, often. Varys. Mm. Varys has got his finger on the pulse. He's a good yeah. dude. Uh, Will Grey Worm return? <laughs> yeah, this he's is got, what I want to know. He's got a long march ahead of him. Yeah. The ships are gone. Yeah. But he is gonna. He's got this. Did you feel like Mil uh, Melisande? Right? No, I always want to call her Melisandre, but it's not. It's Melisande. Melisandre. Mil Miss No Grey Worm's girlfriend. Oh, oh yeah. Mel. Yeah. Mel Day something. Melinde yeah. or whatever. Why, why can't I remember? Her Didn't name she now? act like she was pregnant? <laughs> like. Oh, I can't wait till he comes home. That would be a and I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm just wondering how that uh, happened. Yeah. Like, come on. I mean, we uh, never saw his downstairs mix up. Yeah. No, we did not. So we don't even know. Maybe, like, <laughs> we he could thought something dragons. was mixed up. Maybe dragons. he thought something was mixed up, but nothing was. I don't know. There was dragons. They were so cool. That's really important to talk about. We, I it's mean, all they... about the dragons. Yeah. So who? Okay, here's the question I have. <gasps> who saved Jamie? Well, yeah. Oh. I think it was Braun. I, I thought it was Braun, but the but? internet is like, oh, it's probably Dickon. That's what I thought. I'm going to throw some what? clips in there. Just pretend we saw them. Um, okay. But Let's mm. pretend we saw oh, something. The, 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 the Ballista. Da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, the Ballista. The Darrow. Yes, yes. They called it a scorpion. Scorpion, yeah. But I loved seeing like them shoot the arrows at Drogon, and it oh, just, just, they uh, just reflected anything. off of him. Yes. And then, like, at that point... Jamie I, was I, like, what? I noticed, like, the, the <laughs> yeah. design of the, that character, there's, like, this huge, like, breastplate, like, row of, like, armor and spikes and stuff. Yeah. And then they nailed him with the scorpion, and he just, he fell pretty hard. Yeah. But, like, so I want to, I want to, I want to take a guess. Is it poisoned? Mm. Did he actually have armor on the dragon? Well, it was like uh, like scales, it's, like, oh, like okay. armored flesh. I was kind of I was kind of actually wondering if they were gonna put armor on him after that. Like they hadn't thought of that before. That would be because <laughs> I'm like, it's what are you He's thinking about? Like, I mean, did yeah. you not think maybe he could get hit by something? It probably that sounds pretty cool. I, I just think like dynamics. dragon armor. I think we need dragon armor now. Dragon. I mean, yeah. planes fly and they're made right. of metal. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. And hope. <laughs> yes. That's really true. Met, yes, I think, a prayer. I think Dickon, Rickard, Rickon, whatever his name is, is a. Uh, I'm still, I'm still going with. I think like somebody fostered him in mm. the past. Like he, maybe he's a Stark or something. I don't yeah, know. And yeah. where did Jorah go? Where is he? Jorah. He's he's gone. Eventually, he's gonna going show for, up. He's going to come to Danny. Is he's he going to come to her like aid? Like everyone else. Yeah. He's going to come to her aid. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. Yeah. 
He loves Danny. He's going to be very instrumental in episode seven. But yeah, we And had... what about what about Darius? Is he going to come back? Darius? Oh, no. He's Danny's... actually... He's, he's with the Seven he... Swords. Isn't he with seven the Golden sons. Company? Oh, oh seven yeah. He's with the Seven Sons. She told him to stay behind. I'm thinking, actually, he's going to get bought out by the Iron Bank. Well, that's what I was wondering, because Cersei made this comment about something that had to be returned to her. Do you guys remember that? So what was that about? Was that Tyrion? Hmm. Was that the Seven Sons coming back? They're going to kidnap Tyrion? I'm just... It know. could be just the Seven I've got lots of thoughts. This, unlike other weeks, I have not done any um, soul searching on the internet. So these, uh, are, these are all mine. I have all no my either, ideas. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Let's see. Oh. Uh, and, and, and what else? I think we are kind of uh, getting... Yeah, we're getting close. close to the end here. Yeah, we're, so we'll oh. wrap up and do our uh, theories. Continues yeah. being yeah. a badass. Yeah. I have so many theories. Let's Wait, hear it. But, but hold on, hold on. So, so before I watched question. the episode, I, I think I got spoiled. Someone said something about Madonna being in the episode. Madonna? Madonna, yeah. <laughs> Was she in the episode? Wow. I don't think so, unless she was like one of the extras who got like, awesome. incinerated. She's just like out there. Oh, God. And those <laughs> the people were just destroyed. Like... They were just piles of ash. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah! You, you really Some got to see. Some of them were walking. That ash, was crazy. Piles, walking yeah, the dude piles. who was like trying to, he was on fire and he was like trying to pour himself like, out and he was like, tell, ah, it doesn't work. Bro. You could really tell though this changed the game of, of what, I mean, it probably disheartened Jamie and the entire Lannister army to see yeah. that. Because how can they face, oh how can they God. stand against that? Like you yeah. saw him flipping out. Like yeah. what happens oh, yeah. when there's like, there's nothing like this. No. Yeah. And he finally, when they did ground the dragon, he finally, he just charged it in desperation, which was totally out of his character. Mm. To a totally different thing he's ever done. Yeah, that was a dumb move, really. I mean, mm. why would you do that? It's a dragon! I, th I think he saw her as such a threat, and the only way, this is the only chance to kill her, and he had to go it all out. Yeah, he had the shot to true. take out the enemy yeah. leader, which was That's, incredible. Yeah. That was pretty brave. Yeah. I, I was, I really thought he was about to die. Like, I was like, this is it for him. And yeah. Tyr Tyrion thought it too, and it's going to be so weird to see them... It, in the next episode, if they reunite, yeah, it's gonna be either Bronn's gonna be there or or Jamie's gonna be there. Or one of them's gonna be dead, or who knows? Yeah. Also, like that, you Ooh. see a, a lot of like similarities between that and Saint George and the Dragon. So like he's yep. got the the lance with the little tabard on it, and he's going full <laughs> full force towards it. So I don't know. Yeah. Oh man. So let's go for theories before we keep. Oh uh, man. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to go first? You guys, I'm I'm totally like I don't even know where to go. Oh man! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I think the dragon's scorpion wound might be poisoned, and then he's going down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that this is, there <laughs> leaving go. her out there in the middle of nowhere <laughs> by herself. White Walker dragon. Grey Worm's gonna come save her. Zombie yeah, dragon. yeah, yeah. And Jora. Because that's kind of like logistically kind of in the right direction, being that I am the map maven yeah, and yeah. all. Yeah, the cartographer. Come over there, coming over from the from the. I don't think Daisy's in danger at all. What I think is going to happen by herself though, with is that dragon. because She's got an army the dragon's like a gigantic corpse. She's got the dragon. Yeah. If if the dragon dies there, then when the White Hawker, White Walkers make it to King's Landing, <laughs> there's going to be a zombie dragon. <laughs> A nice dragon. Oh, yeah. oh it's gonna puke ice or something. A, wow, I don't know. that It'll is a really amazing. awesome theory. I mean, they're the White Walker giants, so it's not yeah. strictly human. Yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah. They showed us. So that. what? So what do they? Yeah. So what do they? They like uh, instead of fire, they breathe ice. It, I mean, it could be ice. They can make glaciers. Uh, maybe like obsidian. Maybe it could also throw that up other White Walkers. Just go like bleh, and like zombies come out. Uh, wow. Or bats. So they better <laughs> put some you dragon stone into that dragon if it dies. Yeah, you got to top yeah. that, Kathy. I no, I got nothing. I'm really, you I'm gotta, here. You I'm here to listen. Sorry. I, I mean, okay. My, my only thing that I think I could say is that I think it's going to be Dickon, Rickon, whatever his name is, um, because they're obviously having fun with this whole thing, and um, I think he's going to actually be the one that survived that. Hmm. I'm just, you know, it might be unpopular, but I'm just putting it hmm. out there. I think there could be like. You know, because they do like to kill off some of our favorite characters, yeah. so like it would be, it would be consistent with the show, I think, to bring back a lesser character, and uh, and kill off the other ones. Yeah, but I don't know, Jamie. Yeah, I feel like Jamie and Cersei have to have a showdown moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say, maybe it's Dickon and Jamie, not Bronn, and and uh, Jamie and uh, Bronn's gone because we did he did kind of have some splendor in this. Oh, Bronn better not be gone. I know. I would, I would cry. 
Well, I would it is, cry you know, tears. and that also is one of the ways of the show. Your favorite <laughs> characters die. Yeah, I'm surprised. But no at one's least died by yet. a dragon. I mean, yeah. that's not a bad way to go for him. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm foreseeing a. Uh, my theory is probably not too grandiose, but I, I'm going to see like uh, I think next episode we'll see. Tyrion and Bronn reunite. Tyrion and Jamie reunite if they're alive. Yeah, that could happen. Rickon, I'm guessing, is dead, which is going to put Sam as the sole heir to House Tarly. Oh, mm. and you think his dad's dead too? His dad might be dead. His but dad could be dead. Was he the oh, guy who poured the thing the... on himself? Because that guy didn't have hair either. Well, he was taking. Oh. Well, he was. I was also burning. Hard to, to tell. <laughs> very, very. I hair is like the first to go. Very hard here. to yeah. tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. And the other theories, I, I, I think the people are going to turn against Danny after this. This is they burned their food, they burned, they brought in a foreign army. It was, it was probably not a wise move politically. It was definitely the right tactical move, but it was to kind of miss the mark of the gold. The gold was sealed Cersei in, and she missed it. I don't think she even realized she missed it. She didn't it. get the gold. She yeah. She didn't get the gold. And I think now the now the mercenaries going to be paid. Iron Banks be paid. It's going to make things a lot more complicated. I think Cersei's going to have a lot easier time convincing everyone to go uh, on her side again. So I might end up being something that bites her uh, in, the, in the butt. I don't, you know, I'm going to disagree with you here because I don't think that the Lannister army really gives a darn about, let's say, a hoot about um, politics. I don't think they're really... The people do, though. The people will make up the army. Yeah, but I mean, I think these guys are soldiers and they might be loyal to the Lannister cause, but I don't think that they're then going to turn. I mean, I think Cersei no, 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 no. controls people. No, no, I'm saying like the people are going to turn against Danny, not Cersei. Her people because she used a dragon? The people Westeros. Eh, I don't know. There's who's left. I mean, the High Garden, you know, the Tyrells are gone. The the snakes are gone. Yeah. You know, I'm so just saying, like, Cersei Wet Dorn is, you know, Euron is uh, But you got to Yeah, everyone's in charge of Wet Dorn. So like, I mean, she's already got Anybody on her side that she's going to get on her side anyway. I don't think she's accumulated any new power in this in this she, episode. And I think if anything, Danny and John now are aligned, which actually creates more power for for Danny in the long run. Hmm. I'm gonna just disagree with you. Okay. It's also, cool. everyone's getting sapped of their like armies right now, and the White Walkers coming. Yeah. Yeah. I think this may. So we have three more shows. Yeah. Is that it? Two yeah. or three? We three have more. three. Yeah. So yeah, and it's sort of the the spoils of war as the title is kind of interesting, right? Because mm. it's that sort of implies maybe the gold is there or it's tongue in cheek, like Drogon went down. Like yeah, the, the, like the grain the and the uh, the gold spoils, was all they had. So like everything is terrible of war. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, yeah, either it's it's they're gonna people of the kingdoms are gonna starve once the winter hits. Now um, it's either yeah, it's hurt them in probably a lot of ways she didn't anticipate. Uh, even though she didn't burn the city down, she might have actually killed the city. So, hmm. we'll see. We shall see. We shall All right. See. So, that is it for our show. Uh, tune in next week for more Game of Couches. Couch and, of Thrones. And when Couch are we, we going to be back on next week so we can tell people? We're going to be back on Tuesday. Uh, 6.30? Tuesday? 7. 7. 7. 7, yeah. All right, so 7 o'clock, and we'll be live on Facebook again. We'll do, yeah. So you can see the, the uncut. Woo! With all the swears and Wee. uncensored. Right, uncensored. Yeah. So be careful, Mom. You may not watch the, want to watch the whole thing. <laughs> Is your kidding. mom really watching this? My mom, my mom's probably not watching it right now. We got, like, 66 views, though, in, Ooh. like, 20 minutes. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, thank you, people. But next week, you have to ask questions or post pithy comments. Yeah, pithy okay? comments. Help. Pithy comments, and we will read them. We'll read them. So that'll be that'll be fun. What <laughs> does the internet? Um, I have like a ridiculous number of friends from all aspects of my life. So you know, the Rotarians in California might jump in. The um, oh, okay. the Northern California hippies. The um, <laughs> the um, the city folk in Boston. Who knows? Dorchester and Quincy might jump on, and I look to your, I look it could be really fun. Be fun. Maybe we'll get even <laughs> the Italians to jump in. The Italians. Yeah, the Italians. <laughs> We've got a friend in Denver who is who is avid. Uh, she's having her birthday party as the season finale. Hi, Anne. Happy early birthday. So uh, we'll have to we'll have to wish her a happy birthday. We can do some toast to Anne. The All last right. Time. Toast to Anne next All time. All right. <laughs> See you guys later. To Anne. Right. To Anne. Well, it's a little early, but yeah. you know. All right.